contest. No contest, but we're about to see a contest. This is the winner's finals. Survival! Diddy Kong! Viv, of course, or not Viv. Seabreak, of course, seeming to have most of the crowd on his side. Mitsu King is the outsider here. He really is. He, he was. He comes the farthest really to every this tournament. He comes to every Northwest or Northwest majors, and he's been the king of the Smash Bros. tournaments here for the last two years in a row. This being the intermittent Northwest majors, Northwest Major Seven happening later Diddy next Kong. year. But Mewtwo King making his way back, looking to take first, and he's well on his way right now. Is the winners finals? And here we go. Going Smashville. Going right into it. Players touch fists. Three, two, one, and the first stage is Smashville. Super so starting out with those short hop lemons. Both, both characters just going right in. That was a great gameplay there from Mewtwo King. Using those down tilts in order to try to get Seabrook to shield and then just runs up for a grab. Falls for a hook, line, and sinker. And Seabrook's going to have to figure out how to deal with that sort of aggression. Great grab there from Seabrook, but Mewtwo King there with the really quick up airs, just able to really take out any combo potential that Seabrook would be going for. Yeah, Mega Man, it seems when Diddy Kong gets in, Mega Man pretty much can throw one move, and if that doesn't work, he's going to take a punish no matter what. He has nothing that's really fast enough that he can use it and not take a punish. This could be it. That down throw from Diddy. 50 seconds People are in. saying it's the reason he's good. Mewtwo I, King's showing it. Agree. Oh, the tech trying to zone out and get off for an edge guard. Great tech from Mewtwo King. To hold on to his life and just runs in and gets the grab. Big, oh God, big combo. percent there. Making it very difficult for Seabrook to land. And Mega Man already has a hard enough time landing against characters who don't have such great ground control as Diddy. So tilts here from Mewtwo King. Just keeping Seabrook off the ledge. Smash 4 very difficult to get onto the ledge, actually. Or off of the ledge. We have more than a full stop lead for Mewtwo King now. Seabrook so gets the grab. Takes his time to the Throws out a crash bomb in order to try to catch Mewtwo King, but Mewtwo King is back, assuming it's center stage. Gets the grab. We're going to see the up throw. That's it. Down throw up air for the kill. Mewtwo King solid two stock game one. Cedric seemed like he was playing really scared. And I mean, who's to blame? He's playing against Mewtwo King. But they were. How many spot dodges in a row at the end there? He's. Well, spot dodge, of course, a great counter for the grab, but. You just have to make sure not to get red for it, not to show your fear. Use it when it's needed. Deciding on our counter picks right now, we're going to Omega Wily Castle. Omega's, Omega's actually banned this tournament, but... They've agreed to it. Yeah. No! It's definitely... You heard Seabrick here talking about it, actually. He just likes to go here because he likes Mega Man, wants to rep his character, and he likes Final Destination. And the music's pretty cool. Great gameplay there from Seabrick, rushing down Mewtwo King and getting a bunch of grabs into those neutral airs. Again, Seabrick. Oh, wow. Oh, that's tear. Oh, oh the up 70% done to Mewtwo King just like that. Got the crash bomb on That was such a long combo, too. Seabrick was trying to get a grab out of the shield there that Mewtwo King was throwing out to avoid that crash bomb. But Mewtwo King now has the stage control, and he's going to start a little string of his own. Seabrook makes it back up from the ledge. Mewtwo King in for the grab. Great back air there from Seabrick. Gonna be a little bit faster than what Mewtwo King can throw out. The game's only been out for a couple months, and the strings that people are getting are just crazy long. I think anyone who's ever claimed that Smash 4 is gonna be a really slow game competitively has to see what these characters are capable of. Mewtwo King. Big combo, down throw, double up air into the forward air. And it's a pretty significant percent. Oh. Seabrook with oh, a great wall jump to save his life. You know, that's that's a good reason to do this stage too. The wall jumps definitely helps me. Seabrook knew, he's like, my uppie's not quite gonna make it. This is my only option. Really cr creative way of recovering. 
So you're wow. trying to time that into the up tilt. The up smash gonna... not quite gonna kill Mewtwo King. Oh. Almost with that razor blade. Yeah, Diddy Kong's up being just crazy mobility in this game. It looks like it should be really hard to control. I've never actually tried using it. Mewtwo King starting to take a few more liberties in this match. Great read on that air dodge. Jumps back up and gets the up air for the kill. Another two stock for Mewtwo King. Can Seabrick stop this man? Just wants to take a game. But Seabrick, one of those players, very competitive, not only wants to take a game, he's very determined to get into Mewtwo King's head and become one of the best players in Smash 4. Repping a character we don't really see very much on the main stage, Mega Man. I know in a lot of the speculative tier lists, people are ranking Mega Man pretty low these days, just because it looks like he can't do much. But as you saw from Zebrick's combos, there's a lot of stuff that Mega Man has. Siding on our stage picks here. Zebrick gonna change over to DDD. Interesting note on this one, the only game that Mewtwo King has lost so far this tournament was to Big D's DDD, so. <laughs> Big D offering oh. Seabrick the King DDD there, necklace. There's a perler. Wants to have the crowd on his side here. Just gonna shoot my opponent. I made that. Switching over to Green DDD. Stage is final destination. I don't know whether I agree with that against Diddy, honestly. Three, this is going to be a big combo one, game for Mewtwo King. Seabrick's just going to have to get those good reads and land those really strong hits. Of course, though, DDD, with those grabs, is going to have some big combos of his own on Diddy Kong. Oh, great power shields. And we got 63% right already. off the bat. And the oh. ledge trunk. That's something that a lot of players are starting to utilize now. Ledge where trunk the back. They, well, that technique is from Brawl, where you see a player run to the edge and instantly snap down onto the ledge. It's called ledge hugging. Obviously, the uses are a little bit different here. Wow. But in this game, you can do that in Trump, and it really puts you in an a huge advantageous position over your opponent. Seabrook just kind of hopping in the air, gets the footstool, but Mewtwo King gets the down smash upon his landing. Really even so far, Mewtwo King with stage control. Seabrook quickly takes it back. Mewtwo King opting to shield that Gordo and just stand there. He's waiting to see what happens. Diddy Kong has the mobility advantage over King Diddy, of course. Gonna get that up air. Not quite gonna do it. Oh, well, the Gordo hit. Nope. He's yeah, using those extra mid air jumps that he has. Seabrook stuck in his shield. He's gonna get grabbed. That's it. And the up air read yeah, out of that yeah. air dodge. Seabrook's. He's gonna want a quick kill on Diddy to even this up. Diddy though, huge mobility advantage. Hard to get. Oh. Gets the Gordo. Not Mewtwo King is going to be forced to recover here. Can we see it? Can we get the read. Too far out. And a great ledge snap there from Mewtwo King to be able to recover safely. Charging the FD with Diddy offstage just seems really safe because no matter what they do, you can pretty much pick a direction that'll make you safe. It is really safe. The problem we see here, Seabrick takes care of it, but those grab combos are not going to work at such a high percent. So Seabrick's just going to have to try to bait Mewtwo King into jumping like that and get that back air for the kill. Takes a huge combo. Great spacing there from Mewtwo King to get Big D out of that suction. Spot dog doors. Seabrick comes out on top that time. Mewtwo King starting to run away with the match. He's got stage control. Firing the peanuts. Gets the forward air. I think at this point it's one more down throw combo to kill. Banana's out on the stage to control space. They do disappear after one throw in this game though, so they're not infinitely recyclable. There we go. Mewtwo King playing the patient game. Gets the down throw out of the neutral and finishes it off. Mewtwo King will advance to Grand Finals 3-0 over Seabrick. And we're going to move directly into the Losers Finals now. Big D versus Seabrick. So here's the question. The real question.
the sky.